Yeah, uh, well, without giving away too much, no. Um, with what we're looking at, I think there's going to be one is 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 how a brand authentically speaks. And I know that word is kind of used too much in media. Trust me, I've heard it as much as the people listening and it cringe just as much usually when we when we hear that. But where when I say authentically, I don't just mean in terms of the way that you communicate to you to an audience. So just pandering to them, which is definitely something that you want you need to understand is like the brands that can can speak the language. So they understand why gamers are in the sphere that they are. If you're dealing with an influencer or if you're dealing with a esports league or you're working with a game publisher, there's a reason that this audience is there and they're so passionate. You've got to be talking within that same reason, within that same passion. Um, but also be authentic to your own brand. I think one of the biggest things is that they're like, gamers haven't seen... Um, haven't seen any advertising before, which, you know, some of them haven't, but um, for example, it's like speak to what your brand is, is an offering. This it's, they're just audience gamers is everybody. People want to understand what the benefit is they're getting from their brand, but you will see a bit of a divergent, I think um, in the next year from say where it was very one dimensional campaigns within gaming. So people just slapping a logo on things or um, just looking at saying like, oh, hey, we're just going to be a, a, an enabler. Um, I think what you're going to start to see now is brands are starting to really launch their own platforms um, in terms of with gaming. And then they're going to start to really cement what communities that they want to be part of. Um, I'm just hoping that a lot of them get good advice so they pick the right communities. So.